So this is my Razor Blade 15 2018 model, advanced model. Um, I've liquid metaled this a number of times now and reapplied the liquid metal many times um, to the heatsink and every time it gets absorbed or alloys with the actual copper um, to the point where it's crusty and pretty, pretty manky. And it's actually really gone, gone a bit wrong in certain places. Um, uh, the CPU and the GPU are conformal coated, so it should be all right where there's a bit of runoff there. But you can see there's some dry spots uh, there, 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 and there. It's pretty bad. I'm going to give up on this, and uh, you know it works well for a little while, uh, and then it and then it it just goes bad. And the laptop performance suffers. Um, the fan still stays quite cool and quite quite quiet, but. Uh, just doesn't seem to work very well. So I'm going to go to some uh, Noctura NT-H2, uh, I think it's called. Um, I've used that on my Zeus uh, Zephyrus laptop, uh, Strix 3, I think it is actually, Strix 3, uh, and it's, it's brilliant, it's fantastic. So I'm going to give this a go and see how it works. Thanks. So you can, uh, you can see here where this is alloyed to the copper. You can hear just how crunchy this is. That's where the alloying has taken place and you can just see if I hear that as opposed to the copper. Nice, smooth, rough, alloyed. So um, this is conductor nought. And, uh, and I've, you know, I've applied this about five or six times now where it's, where it's, it's been all right. And, you know, I thought it would get to a point where it would stop alloying and, you know, you'd be left with a nice film of, of conductor nought that would stay uh, and wouldn't dry up or wouldn't alloy into the copper. And it's just not the case. It just doesn't, just doesn't work really. So after a while, the laptop performance starts to suffer, the fans start ramping up uh, and it, it just goes bad really. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this as much as possible and I'm going to use some uh, auto seal metal polish and try and get this back to a, a metal finish. I might even have to use a drill just to, just to, you know, with a bit on it, just to get rid of this um, alloying and just get it back to the copper um, and then put it back on. Uh, I haven't bothered trying to take this off yet, um, but that's, it comes off quite nicely. Off of the CPU die, coming off. Yeah, liquid metal, nasty stuff. Nasty, nasty. So you can see here where the conformal coating uh, is reacting to the alcohol that I'm using to take this off. Um, so this will just basically come off now um, and I'll be left with just the NVIDIA die and the package basically. So no more liquid metal is going in this baby. I'm going to clean the entire motherboard and um, make sure every little bit of this liquid metal is gone completely. This is the shitty razor thermal pads that they put on. Um, I've just got it covering a couple of the diodes just to try and stop the vibration and the, uh, what's it called? Oh, that high pitched sound, uh, capacitor squeal or whatever it is, drives me mad, um, which that helps a little bit. Uh, I'm also going to replace the SSD pad because this is crap. This stuff is just, I don't know what the hell it is, but it's just not very nice. Um, you can see it's just a brittle real mess. This is the Southbridge chip. It doesn't really even get hot, so I don't even need this on here, to be honest. Um, I'm just going to get rid of that. It's crap. Razor. Razor quality crap. Get rid of that. So as you can see there, I've cleaned this up, and you can see how crusty that is, as opposed to the copper. Alloy to bugger.
Right, it's ready to go back together now. Just got to put the stuff on there. Redone all this.